Hello, hello. We are going to talk this afternoon about a subject that tends to hit a whole lot of people right now, um, seasonal affective disorder, or otherwise known as SAD. And it tends to be a situation that is more common in the north than it is in the south because y'all don't see the sun much up there. But uh, we do down here. So a lot of times it can go misdiagnosed as a lot of other things because we don't realize that it is a change in the time. It is a change in weather. It's a change in sunlight. Um, it can mean a change in exercise. So we tend to eat more sugars because it's it's the fall, it's the winter. We've got Halloween, we've got Thanksgiving, we've got Christmas, we've got New Year's, we've got Valentine's. We have all these sugar holidays. And then we don't necessarily realize how the combination of all of those can then affect our moods. And so we're more depressed, we're more sluggish. And then of course that can be a scale to where it's just minor to absolutely major and, and dangerous. So what are some things that you can do to kind of acknowledge this time of year can be a little more tough for some people and maybe even yourself. Number one, always keep your sugars low. 25 grams if you're a kid, 50 grams or less if you're an adult. That includes all your fruits. So kind of take a mental note of where we are with your sugars. It gets cold, it changes. We don't necessarily feel like getting out and exercising, but yet we do know statistically that when we exercise on a regular basis, our moods, um, our ability to feel good is better. Then there's some other nutritional things that you can do, like vitamin D has long been linked to seasonal affective disorder. So upping our vitamin D, making sure we've got a really great quality um, product as well, making sure that um, the the you up how much you're actually taking. Uh, so research says that 2,000 IUs actually isn't enough to keep your level stable. 5,000 IUs is needed per day to keep your levels at the number that they are. But here's the thing, if the weather's changing and that it's affecting your mood, your vitamin D levels aren't where they're supposed to be at. So some other research is suggesting blood value. So if you get your blood work tested, ask for your vitamin D to be tested. You need to be up in the 60 to 70 range. That leaves you uh, much healthier in terms of viral infections, which tend to be very prevalent in the winter time. Um, did you know that also kind of undiagnosed viral infections or what we call latent viral infections can also lead to us being depressed. So boosting our immune system is a double whammy. It's gonna get both of those. And then making sure that we're having plenty of water, also making sure that we're truly addressing sometimes the pain of holidays. Maybe it's not what you want it to be. Maybe you're having to see people you don't like to see. Maybe you have expectations that need to be released on yourself and on other people. Um, maybe you have expectations that should be met and it's time to make some changes because they're consistently not being met. So just understand that this is a journey. This life is a is is up and down and, and great and crazy. Uh, but if we're consistently and with rhythm, falling into chaos all the winter long, it may be time to look at things a little differently and see if you may be affected by seasonal affective disorder and make some changes. And if you need to, reach out. We'd love to help you out with this. Bye-bye.